So, as we saw, sound is a mechanical vibration. It moves the particles of the air next to it. Those particles, in turn, move the particles next to it, and so on and so forth. The vibrations keep moving, and until they reach the ear, that, that's how you hear the sound, okay? So sound travels by vibrational mode. So same thing, when we, uh, when we put the probe on the aluminum uh, step wedge, calibration block, this probe sends mechanical vibrations on the top surface. Those particles vibrate and keep sending the sound all the way to the back surface. Once the sound hits the back surface, those vibrations reflect back and reach the probe. And once it comes back to the probe, that's how you see a signal on the screen. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So today we will learn how to calibrate the Olympus OmniScan SX using a straight beam probe, which is quarter, uh, two and a quarter megahertz Olympus probe, using aluminum step wedge. Okay, so this is straight beam ultrasonic thickness calibration. So first thing you want to do is click on file and go to wizard. So this is where you'll find the setup and calibration. Setup is, now you're going to set all the parameters for straight beam. So click on setup and start. Okay, the very first option, UT, group mode. If it's not UT, if it's PA, change it to UT because PA is phase rate, we are doing conventional, right? So click on group mode and change it to UT, conventional, and the application would be zero degree. Once you do that, click next. Skew, just leave it on 90 for now. Transmitting and receiving mode, this transducer as we studied before, it's a pulse echo mode, okay? So make sure the transmitting receiving mode is on pulse echo, PE, and the wave type, uh, leave it on custom. Click next. Per, um, frequency, so frequency of the probe is, it's written on the probe, it says two and a quarter megahertz, so make sure it's on two and a quarter megahertz. Wedge delay would be zero for now, and index offset, just leave it on zero. Okay, click finish. Now before you go for calibration, we gotta select the material type. So click on part and weld, and hit start. The material should read aluminum. If it's, if it's mild steel, click on it and switch it to aluminum. You have to calibrate off of the same material that you're going to inspect in the field, right? Um, thickness, for now, just leave it on one inch and hit finish. Now, once we set up the material and set up the parameters of frequency, pulse echo mode, UT conventional, all that stuff, then we are good to go for calibration. So now click on calibration and hit start. This calibration is a thickness inspection, thickness mode. So leave the echo type or change the echo type to thickness. And then you have to input two different thicknesses. You can choose any of these, one inch, three quarters, half inch, or quarter inch. So let's just choose two thicknesses, one inch and half inch. So put thickness one as half inch and thickness two as one inch. Then click next. Now it reads set gate A on thickness one, right? Set gate A on thickness one. So place some coupling on the step wedge. Your thickness one is half inch, so place your probe on the half inch thick wedge, uh, step wedge and adjust the gate using start and width so it cuts the first signal after the initial pulse, okay? Once you do that, make sure you adjust the gain so that the signal height is about 80% of the full screen. You don't want it too high or too low. So either increase or reduce the gain so the signal height is about 80%. And once you make sure the gate is cutting the signal, then you hit get position. Okay? Now the screen reads set gate A on thickness 2. My thickness 2 is 1 inch. So I place my probe on one inch thick part. 
Everyone's done with half inch? Okay. So moving on to one inch, place the probe. Same procedure. Place the probe on one inch thick. You adjust the gain so that the signal height is about 80% screen height. And move the use the gate start and width to move the gate on the first signal after the initial pulse. Once you are done with that, click on get position. Okay. Now, before we hit accept, we are going to verify all the thicknesses. So place your probe on one inch and see if it reads one inch. The, the TA on the top, it should read about one inch. Okay. Place the probe on three quarters and see if it reads three quarters and so on and so forth. If you check all these and if it, the values are right, then you can hit accept. Okay. And once you hit accept, your calibration is good for anything that's aluminum. So you can go out and inspect thickness or laminations, delaminations for anything that's aluminum. Okay. That's it.